Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I want to do a quick project today and turn these into these. Now, I want to tell you before I start that I am not painting the sides because the sides are so small that you could easily mess up the opening on the sides here, these metal. It's, it's very hard to cover this up. So for this process, I'm just showing you how to do these small little ones, which still look beautiful, as you can see. Now, just in case you want to use these outside where they're meant to be used, or sometimes you use them in the house, either way, I'm going to use the DecoArt patio paint, which is scuff resistant, and it will help this stand up to the elements of the weather outside. And I'm going to be using their color called Cloud White, and I'll be using a nice soft bristle brush. May as well keep them all together. It will make them that much easier to paint. So I'm just going to start with painting these. Because I can stand these up to dry, I'm going to paint the other side while the top side is still wet. These are all still attached to the cardboard piece they came with. So I will now paint these and then I'm going to put these aside to dry. These metal pieces already allow for a little bit of space between each of these clothespins so they don't stick together. And I'm going to cut these in half. I want to show you two different looks or two different types of napkins. The first napkin, and you always, always want to use napkin decoupage glue. And I'm going to show you how you can take the smaller print napkin and go right over the top of this so that you can see these smaller flowers. And let's separate the napkin. Dampen my fingertips. Here's a section where there are the much smaller prints. And the larger print. And I can just line up the side of the napkin with the side of the clothespins. Take my decoupage glue, and this is the, whoops, Deco Art decoupage glue for napkins. I'll have the link down below. I forgot to mention, the patio paint works as a primer to the wood. It doesn't just color it, it adds protection so that the elements outside, or even if you're hanging these inside, the moisture doesn't get into your paint. And again, I'm going to start in the center and work my way out. Making sure to get those edges. Do the same thing here along the bottom. You want to keep loading the brush with the decoupage glue just to make sure those napkins are saturated. And I'm going to put this piece aside to dry. And once this dries, I'm going to flip this over and repeat this on the back. Now I want to show you if you don't have a smaller pattern napkin like that, but you just have something that you like, it's pretty and you like the colors, you can still repeat that same exact process and I'll show you how they both look when we're all done. And the first side is dry on both of these, so I'm going to take my file and go in one direction to remove the excess napkin around the sides. And then I will flip it over and work on the back in the same way. Now these are dry and you want to take a straight edge razor
By the way, this little piece in the center works. Your clothespins won't glue together when they're on this. So I'm just going to separate the rest of these and I'll do them one at a time. And you may need to file still some excess away. You know we're going to put a high gloss top coat on these and add some glitter. And I do want to separate these before I put the top coat and the glitter on here. More because the top coat tends to be pretty strong. And I don't want to add it and then take the razor and go through the sides only to discover that it leaves jagged edges or you have to do even more filing or sanding rather. So I'm going to separate all of these also and this is just to show you a different pattern, how a different pattern looks. So I have my triple thick. I have one pattern and the other pattern and because we're about to put the top coat on. I want to make sure these don't stick closed. I'm going to take this thick plastic and clip these onto here so that they don't stick. And I've got a craft mat down so they're not going to stick to the surface. And I'm taking a smaller brush now to fit the size of my project. Dipping it in the triple thick. I'm coating the surface. Because this triple thick works as a glue as well as the top coat, which is the glossiest rich glaze you can find outside of using a two-part resin. While the triple thick is wet, I'm going to add the glitter. You can go as light or as heavy as you want on that. And then I'm going to use a larger glitter on the other pattern. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then I will show you how these look once they're dry. Alrighty guys, that's our video for the week and some of you might be asking if these can be waterproof, like if you really do want to use them outside, you can use this product and I will put the link down below for it. Whoops. And that's the um, Americana Sealer Finisher. This is a weatherproof sealer that is good for the outside and one is gloss and one is matte. I don't use those to put the glitter on there. Chances are if you want a matte surface, you're not going to want glitter. If you'd like, you can apply the glitter the same way that I just did. And when you're all done, use the weatherproof sealer. And I'll show you in a better light. And I'll put links down below for the glitter, some pretty napkins, the supplies that you'll need. And of course, all of the Americana decor supplies. You can see that whether or not you have a print that fits over this tiny space doesn't really matter. They still come out really pretty. And here are how the other ones look with the rose print with the glitter on it. And that is our project for the week. Hope you guys like that. A quick and easy project. I have quite a busy week coming up, so I won't be able to get back to you right away if you have questions. Uh, please give me a little bit more time to get back to you, okay? But in the meantime, that's our video for the week. Thanks a lot, my friends, and I will see you next week with another video. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.